Computational tools and methods have empowered scientists to collect massive amounts of data in the pursuit of groundbreaking research. At the same time, connectivity has distributed the practice of science across larger teams around the globe. This has led to crowdsourcing strategies in which large numbers of distributed volunteers use online platforms such as Galaxy Zoo to collaborate on research tasks. The Galaxy Zoo platform asks volunteers to classify images of sky surveys. Multiple volunteers classify the same image and the model answer is accepted as the right classification. As the potential for such platforms grow, we are faced with the new challenge of engaging broader audiences. In this work, we explore museums as a platform for engaging broader audiences in people-powered research. Online, volunteers have lots of time to peruse the resources the research team creates and may even talk to researchers and other volunteers via talk boards. However, in museums, visitors have a lot of exhibits vying for their attention and dwell times are short. We designed and tested You Scientist as a museum exhibit version of Galaxy Zoo. We carried out a messaging study to determine what messages about citizen science and galaxy classification resonated most with museum visitors. We also carried out paper and hi-fi prototyping tests. Our messaging study led us to include messages on the booth around the exhibit that invite volunteers to learn about galaxies while contributing to research. Our final design of View Scientist was implemented on a multi-touch tabletop with six stations. Volunteers can drag galaxies into their stations. They complete just one classification task rather than the six in the online version. They classify a galaxy as either smooth, features, or an artifact. You Scientist allows its users to ask visitors on other stations on the table for help in classifying a galaxy. After they classify a galaxy, they can see how other volunteers have classified the same galaxy. You Scientist includes a game element. Users leveled up after five classifications. Visitors can also indicate their intention to continue to classify galaxies with a checkbox on the exhibit. We carried out three separate studies with you scientists. First, we administered pre- and post-surveys to visitors. Then, we collected video data of you scientist users. In the third study, we simply observed naturalistic use of you scientist. We also kept logs of visitors' interaction with the exhibit. Our surveys revealed that the exhibit was not difficult to use. It also showed a significant positive difference in value for science between pre- and post-experience participants. A qualitative analysis of visitors' talk showed that they understood that they were contributing to real science rather than playing a game or being tested on their knowledge of galaxies. Visitors younger than 12 were able to contribute to you scientists with the help of parents and older siblings, but had difficulty understanding histograms that showed how other volunteers had classified a galaxy. Although many visitors did not use the provision on you scientists to indicate their intention to continue to contribute to Galaxy Zoo in the future, examination of visitors' talk showed that some visitors wanted to continue to use you scientists in places like classrooms, as this visitor expresses in this excerpt. Quantitative coding of visitors' talk showed that visitors collaborated in galaxy classification by making claims about galaxies. It also showed that there was more talk with evidence for these claims in shared stations. In addition, although the gamified elements were motivating, they did not overwhelm the classification task. Our findings lead us to conclude that we can engage museum visitors in people-powered research with simplified tasks, intentional messaging, and making the contributions of other volunteers transparent. We can reach new audiences in informal spaces like museums, 
and even recruit younger audiences to participate in people-powered research. Informal spaces like museums and multi-touch tabletops support side-by-side real-time collaboration in people-powered research, which opens questions about how this setup impacts citizen science.